Piers and pilasters need something to bear on as well. This is why Revit has isolated footings. Similar to the strip footing, this is a bearing element for other foundation systems. Let's go ahead and configure an isolated footing. To get started, I'm going to go all the way down now to my top of footing level. Let's go to the Structure tab. Under the Foundation panel, let's click on Isolated Footing. Let's go ahead and click on Edit Type. Let's duplicate. This one wants to be 3 foot dash 6 inches by 3 foot dash 6 inches by 12 inches. Let's click OK. For the width, let's make it 3 space 6. The length is going to be 3 space 6. The thickness will be 12 inches. Now let's click OK. This time I'd like to go at columns. That way we don't have to start deleting stuff. So click at columns. Now I'm going to pick a window around the whole foundation. I'm going to click on finish. If everything worked out right, it should trim itself out nice and look right. Everything does look right except for this one. If we go to a 3D view, notice that we have a unique situation here where this is a little too close to the edge. That's okay, we can customize these. Let's go back to our top of footing level. What I'd like to do is select this footing. I'm going to click Edit Type. Now I'm going to click Duplicate. Instead of 2 foot 6, I want to make this 3 feet. I want to make it 3 feet by 2 foot 6. I'm going to click OK. For my H dimension, I'm going to type in 3 feet and hit Enter. I'm going to click OK. Now what I want to do is I want to align this. So I'm going to type AL for align. I'm going to align the back face to here. I'm going to click on my pier. Hit Escape. Now, of course, my foundation rectangular footing, I need to select this. I'm going to click Edit Type. I'm going to duplicate this one. This one's going to be 4 foot 0 inches. And it's still going to be 12 inches. Just get rid of the number 2. Hit OK. And for my length, I'm going to say 4 feet. I'm going to hit OK. Hit Escape. Type AL for Align. Now I'm going to select the back edge of this isolated footing. I'm going to select the back edge of this footing, and it's going to align it. I'm going to hit Escape. Now, I'm just going to pick a window around these two and hit Delete. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to pick a window around these two footings. On my Modify Multi Select, I'm going to click on this button now. It's Mirror Draw Axis, so I'm going to click on this button here. I'm going to pick a point right here. I'm going to draw it over. Pick a second point, I'm going to hit Escape. It's going to mirror those down. Let's go to a 3D view. Now we have them in there. We have something to bear on. If we select one of these items, notice that the host is hosted to level top of footing. But if we move one of these columns, that footing is going to move along with it. Wow, so we have an actual foundation going on here.